What's up, everybody? It's your boy Pretty Thug 62494, aka Sneaker Freaker Zane. Last time I got this pair of shoes, it was a, a beat up pair from William Berry One. And uh, this time, as you can see, the condition is 10 times better and the price is four times cheaper. So, oh, yeah, one thing I just wanted to say <laughs> you, William Berry One, <laughs> you. <laughs> and uh, as you can see, you know. Patience is a virtue, like they always say. I uh, I picked up another pair, a lot better condition. That last pair came beat up, and it was uh, about $102 shipped. And so what the guy does is take pictures of new shoes and uh, sends you a, a pair of beaters. So all I have to say is, F*** you, William Berry One, you old punk. B*** punk. But, uh... Yeah, he sends beat shoes out, so beware of this guy. William Barry won on eBay. I will put it in the description. And uh, I got my money back, you know, return that. Plus, he paid for the extra, for the shipping return. Because uh, I, you know, really slandered his name. But uh, I will continue to do that on YouTube as I'm doing now. Alright, I picked up the Air Jordan Retro 1 Metallic Silver from 2001. As you all already know, I have been searching for this pair for a while now. As, uh, like I just said a few minutes ago, uh, when I bought my first pair, I got burned. And it was actually a beat up pair from a seller that was uh, very much bogus. And uh, I'm very well satisfied with this pair. I only paid... $23.99, the only bidder on eBay. When I purchased these, uh, they were pretty muddy um, uh, because the very first time the person, the seller, wore these, uh, they wore them in a uh, muddy environment. So the suede got pretty muddy. You know, I cleaned them off and uh, now they look uh, almost brand new again. The shoes were worn, uh, like I said, that one time. They're 100% stars. The grip, everything is there. Um, the insoles are brand new. Uh, Jumpman still intact. And they even still have the brand new smell. So the shoes are essentially brand new. It was just the one time wear that uh, gave it the look of a, uh, you know, beat up uh, shoe. But, uh, you know, you can't judge a book by its cover. And so I, I went ahead and bought these. $23.99 has to be my best ever pickup on eBay. I usually don't share my prices with you all, but uh, this price was uh, insane. Okay, so let me remove this shoe off the scene so I can uh, go ahead and get into the review. We've got a gray outsole, white midsole with white stitching, a gray suede upper. It's very soft because of the cleaning process that I used on it. A metallic silver leather swoosh, as well as a metallic silver leather ankle support. Suede ankle in gray. And then we've got your Air Jordan Wings logo in a clear with a gold background and black lettering. Right here we've got the special Air Jordan Jumpman keychain that uh, hangs onto the shoe on the heel we've got a metallic silver tumble leather and on the toe box we have the same thing as you can see I added my own personal touch to it I added the Mac life lace locks to it in a metallic silver colorway I just fit, felt that uh, it would be best fit for uh, this shoe we've got your standard Air Jordan 1 laces in a neutral gray metallic silver colorway I guess you can say on the upper half of the tongue it just goes to a regular a uh, tumble leather on the toe box it's a metallic silver but uh, on the toe from here up there's just a uh, regular tumble leather in a neutral gray colorway we've got a neutral gray jump man on the inside the sock liner is a neutral gray as well with the same color gray uh, insoles with a metallic silver jump man 
100% still intact. And uh, the Air Jordan Retro 1s of the 2000 era, the early 2001 and 2002 years, uh, they were numbered to a certain amount of pairs. This pair in particular was limited to 50,000, and this is pair 49,264. So this pair is pretty close to the end of the line as far as production goes for this Air Jordan 1 uh, model. But uh, here you go. Let me pull up the other shoe so I can get a good look at this one too. The Air Jordan Retro 1 Metallic Silver from 2001. As you can see, the words Mac Life when you put the two shoes together. Alright, it's your boy Pretty Thug 62494, aka Sneaker Free Zane. Just one of the many videos to come. Be sure that you stay tuned, rate, comment, subscribe, and just share my videos. Peace. Wait, wait, wait. Before you go anywhere, make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that you can stay up on all my latest videos. From new reviews, sneaker cleaning guides, as well as my sneaker restorations. Rate, comment, subscribe. Peace.